Alright my friends, don't know about you but I'm pretty excited about this one. This is the first reaction video that you're seeing from my brand new living situation. This is my, this is my bedroom, it's not my complete house, the house is downstairs, this is my bedroom. I've got my screen, I've got my camera, I've got my bed, I've got my 100,000 YouTube subscriber plaque. Everything's here that I need to crack back into the top two thirds of the NFL's top 100 players of 2020 reaction series. This is my major project right now. I needed a place like this. I needed to be in this mindset to crack back into it. We're going to do it. Today's video is, um, well, he's number 66, Laremi Tunsil, an offensive lineman for the Texans, a big fella, and we're about to find out exactly what makes him tick. So let's go. I just want to play around with a couple of um, lighting options here. Is this is this going to be better? I'm not sure. Maybe that's better. No? I like this. Let's go. About nine days ago, Laramie Tunsil was taking a nap. His brother ran into the bedroom, woke up and said, you just got traded to Houston. He said, you're crazy. What are you talking about? Here he is five days on the job, starting left tackle now. Starting left tackle five days after being traded. Are you kidding me? Larimi Tunsil. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, which I will. Larimi Alexander Tunsil, born August 2nd, 1994. is an American football offensive tackle for the Texans. Played college football at the University of Mississippi. 26 years of age, 6 foot 5. <clears throat> and tipping the scales at 142 kilograms. Pick number 1. Sorry, round one, pick number 13 of the 2016 draft. Played at the Dolphins, and as we heard, was rudely awoken by his brother, telling him that he'd better get up, he'd better pack his bags, and head across the country because he's been traded from Miami to Houston. A native of Lake City, Florida. No wonder he went to uh, the Miami Dolphins. That was probably his local team, to be fair. But as far as his pre-draft measurables, we've got <clears throat> six foot five, three ten, a vertical of twenty-eight and a half inches, broad jump of nine foot three, a bench press of thirty-four, which is pretty much going to be up there with the best of the best. April twenty-eighth, two thousand sixteen, the Dolphins selected Tunsil with the thirteenth overall pick. On April 18th, 2019, so that's exactly three years later, the Dolphins picked up the fifth year option on Tunsil's contract. Which doesn't really make sense uh, with what we're about to read. You know what, guys? No. <laughs> so on August 31st, 2019, four months after picking up the fifth year option on his contract, they traded him to the Houston Texans in exchange for two first round picks, a second round pick, Johnson Budamosi and Julian Davenport. So it seems he was worth quite a lot. He started 14 games at left tackle in 2019, earning his first trip to the Pro Bowl. Okay, so it sounds like it was a good option. April 24th, 2020, post season, he signed a three-year, $66 million contract extension with the Texans, making him the highest paid offensive lineman in terms of annual value. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it seems as if the further we go down the list, the more time, we just continually hear the highest paid, the highest paid, the highest paid. When does it stop? Like literally, when does it stop? I'll tell you when it stops. It stops at Patrick Mahomes' half a billion dollar contract. I suppose that's where it stops, right? This was only 66 million. Nothing. Anyways guys, that's a little bit of a backstory on old uh, old mate Tunsil. And it's time we watch his top 100 video, so let's go. Six five three ten. First trip to the Pro Bowl, first trip to the top 100. First year at the Texans. Houston Texans thought so highly of Laramie Tunsil that they gave up two first round picks to bring him to Texas. And the former first round pick of the Dolphins rewarded their faith. It's always Left tackle, that is an important position. 
In 2018, quarterback Deshaun Watson was sacked a league-high 62 times. With big number 78 protecting his blind side, that total dropped to 44 in 2019. Rock and roll! Touchdown! I would have thought it'd be a little, a little less than that. 44 s still seems like quite a sizable number for a full season. Maybe it's not. And the Texans are rolling on offense. Yeah. The very few times that he gets beat, that he's able to recover from that. It's amazing just to watch it. <laughs> be pretty sweet is to have mic'd up people, mic'd up players in the game of rugby, you know what I mean? Because not only, not only for the fans, but also for the players, you know, to hear what other players are actually saying about them to their fellow teammates about that particular player. And then you can use those sound bites for awesome things like this. I really think they should put on microphones, I think they should put on GPS units, which they probably already do. Maybe that's too much, maybe the budget is just not going to be high enough in the game of rugby for that. But I feel like, I feel like media, I feel like the attention aspect of it, I feel like the fact that the, the most valuable commodity moving into the future is attention, I think rugby really needs to step its game up as far as the documentation of the game. Now let's continue. Tonsil boasts a wide base, quick feet, and the ability to get off the snap. He primarily utilizes a two-point stance, and he devours pass rushers. They gave him all kinds of time. Ninth, oh, Jesus Christ. You know, he, he deserves everything he gets. That 92 that he was holding, well, he wasn't holding, obviously, because it wasn't cool to hold, but he was parrying back. That would have been so frustrating, bro. You've got this guy. He's just not moving. He's a mountain in front of you. Most of these offensive linemen are. If you're playing left tackle, you're going to be a mountain, a human. You're going to be a man mountain. You're not going to be able to be moved if you're an effective one. We try to speed rush him. He's there. Tunsil allowed just three sacks on the season, giving Watson clean pockets on his way to throwing 26 touchdown passes. Watson throwing back in the end zone. Touchdown, Houston! Now, Tunsil, no question, has been a huge asset here. Clark? Clark's no match for Tunzel. Huge hole on the left side as Hyde takes it in against his former team. The former Ole Miss standout became the first Texans offensive lineman named to the Pro Bowl since Dwayne Brown in 2014. Just a little screen there. 78 left. Ooh, he's got a little bit of pace too. I like that. This play when you have an athletic tackle like Larry Tunzel. Hey. Following the season, Houston signed Tunzel to a three-year, $66 million oh, contract. Way to move. The highest paid offensive lineman in NFL history. That he was. That he was. Um, we're not watching 67 next. We're actually watching number 65. And it's Tyler Lockett. It's a wide receiver for the Seahawks. It is effectively, effectively DK Metcalf's... Um, main teammate I feel and with that in mind I, I actually can't wait to watch it if you've enjoyed this video if you want me to continue making them please hit the like button subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you soon to watch old mate Tyler Lockett now I believe I believe Lockett came in in the 90s last year possibly even num number 90 in fact I'm gonna no we'll check that next video okay I'll see you soon thanks for watching peace out